so we have Ihab from uh, Comscope and we'll talk about their uh, participation at Jitex and the solutions they're focusing on. So thank you Ihab for speaking to us. Thank you for hosting us. Today. Thank you. Uh, we'll start with a brief about your participation at Jitex. What kind of products and solutions are you focusing on? Yeah, so Jitex is one of the leading exhibitions in, in the region. It's a trademark for uh, from events in the year. It is essential for us to be participating in, in the show as a leading innovator in the technology uh, and, uh, and telecommunication and, and, and IT. Uh, we are coming here not only to exhibit our solution, but it's a very good chance to meet a lot of customers and end users, not only to show the product, but hear their feedback about uh, what are the demand technologies that they see in the, in, in the market, what they, what they are needs, so it can help us to put our next innovations to support the future techs. So this year we are presenting uh, three main technologies. The first one is, is the fiber, high-speed fiber solutions to support the broadband uh, for the office, for the, the building, as well as for data centers. Uh, the other one is with the 5G uh, uh, technologies rolling out in, in the region. We are uh, presenting uh, our Mosaic solution, which uh, facilitate uh, a, a easy built, uh, very reliable solution to support the, the new 5G rollout. And the last but not least is our latest Propel fiber solution for data centers, especially for high speed data centers that uh, support the migration in uh, the edge data center need. Yeah? Okay, okay. Um, you mentioned uh, the rollout of 5G. What kind of opportunities do you think channel partners have today with, with increased it, adoption? It's of huge. I mean, 5G is not an, uh, a new step up of or advance of 4G. It's not only about the operators. It's, no. it's a, a life changer because it, it brings a lot of high-speed uh, solution that can uh, support the smart cities. So that transformation of smart cities is definitely going to rely a lot on 5G. So it will be involved in, in, in a lot of technologies that we hear about, the metaverse, the IoT, the digital term for transformation, even in manufacturing facilities. So it, it, if you look at this, we will see a lot of opportunity for our partners uh, active in, 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 uh, with the operators. But on the other side, you'll see a lot of demand on the data, right? So this will uh, require a lot of data storage, data processing, which will put a new opportunities for data centers as well, especially with the latency importance. Okay. So we are going to see more data center coming more to the edge. So instead of have, focusing more on the core data center, we're going to see a lot of edge data centers as well. So huge opportunities for our business partners in the region. Yeah? Okay. Um, can you tell us about the Propel uh, data center solution? Uh, what sort of industry is it focusing on and what are the key uh, you know, benefits of using that product? Yeah, so as I mentioned, since COVID, we have seen an exponential demand for high speed and high bandwidth. I mean, in a recent research, a lot of the operators has been pulling their hairs to say, oh my God, the peak hours of connecting has been jumping from three, four hours a day to 18 hours. So yeah. the, the market and people are hungry for more high speed, high demand bandwidth. So did the, this did put a huge pressure on the data center requirements. And in Comoscope, we did make this innovation of Propel Solution, which is a high-speed uh, fiber platform specialized for data center, not only to support the current uh, demand that we see of 400 gigabit or 800, but also support up to 1.6 gigabit ter uh, ter terabit uh, speed. And support, so it, it provides uh, low latency, high speed, so uh, that would support as well the low consumption of energy so more sustainability for a solution for the people. So, uh, in a conclusion, reliable, efficient solution for the futuristic data center solution. Okay, in terms of next generation uh, enterprise Wi-Fi, um, what are the key challenges and opportunities over there? Yeah, so mobility is a big thing now for people. I mean, we no longer see people are attached to the cable. Nobody wants that. Oh, yeah. So we are, we're gonna see 
and at the same time they want from Wi-Fi, they need a reliable, robust connectivity with a high speed. Everyone needs the latest, no disconnection. So with that move, so we, we see that the Wi-Fi 6 is coming, uh, is, has been rolling out and there is a talk about even the, the what's next after Wi-Fi 6. So the big challenge is the design of the, of, of the, wi, uh, the Wi-Fi network. It's important that the design is uh, reliable and capable to accommodate more devices to be connected in the same time without disconnecting. So, and especially if you are building that in, uh, in, in a high population venue like no. a stadium or a mall or airport, with that thing, you need the network designer to make sure that the network, the Wi-Fi network is reliable to fix that. But this will bring a lot of opportunities as well to people with high speed network with the mobility access to it. Okay. How does, how do your network solutions support the tech of today and tomorrow? Um, uh, how are the future ready? As I mentioned, Drydex is a great opportunity for us to hear from people about the demand application and also to, to, to say what other vendors and uh, innovators are exhibiting about the solution. I, when I, on my way, I've seen a lot of robots yeah. here so and, and, and metaverse world. So with the visual reality, with the uh, artificial intelligence, uh, as well as uh, the IoT, we're going to see more uh, innovations that we didn't see today, right? And we're not, we didn't live today. So that needs a high tech, reliable infrastructure to support it. So in Comoscope, we believe in, 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 in all these technologies and, and the need for the 5G, the Wi-Fi 6, and how, how these networks were complement each other and not competing, as some people would say they would compete. We believe that everyone, would, all these technologies will complement, complement each other. So our job is hear from the community, hear from our partners, and make sure that we have the next day future tech requirements in order to uh, be capable to support the needs for the future. Yeah? Uh, thank you, Iha, for speaking to us. Nice having you with us today. Thank you, and, and for uh, giving us this yeah, We look forward to speaking to you in the future as well. Absolutely. Thank you.